My philosophy has always been, if it weren't for employees and if it weren't for the customers, the restaurant business would be the greatest business in the world. And basically, I hate people. So, I, but you can't put that out there. Right? No, we All right. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Charlie Trotter's restaurant was amazing. As good as anywhere you could eat in a three-star restaurant in France. Charlie was out there. Way out there. He wasn't going to stand for mediocrity. The reputation of the restaurant and the fame and fortune would all become bound up in his identity. Towards the end, it was to the point like, Charlie, why? You can't do the same thing forever. You might go completely insane. So many people don't know Charlie. They know this persona. He was the first American kid to be really fearless, to invent new things. He had to express himself or he would have exploded. He would write to me that people thought he was a total enigma. And he often felt very isolated and very alone and like nobody understood. Charlie was really a control freak. He was known as a tyrant. He was the puppeteer. He figured out a way to get what he wanted from all of us. You really get on my nerves at this point, sir. He was being questioned like he had never been questioned before. Why couldn't he reimagine his food? And why couldn't he reimagine himself? Nobody appreciates legacy. And if you're not on top in that moment, it just don't matter. Being Charlie Trotter, that was almost a sentence in some ways. I don't know if Charlie really knew how many people that he impacted. He is definitely a legend.